A lot of champions changed in this patch, mostly due to item tweaks and due to mastery changes. There are still some options that were pretty strong earlier on, mostly tanks ones, since tank items didn't really get nerfed. Other than that, a lot of new picks with uh, really buffed items came into, into play. The most buffed item right now is Rage Blade. Every champion that has any high vis scaling, AD and AP scaling, really benefited from this buff, and it's right now the strongest item by far in the game. Yeah, most champions that build this into their um, their path, uh, I got a, a lot stronger. Uh, as well as other changes that benefit those champions, makes them a viable pick now. So for Malphite, what I like right now is that the Gauntlet got buffed, so you can just rush that and be really efficient. And also Abyssal got a bit of a buff as well. So both of the starting options are really strong right now, and everything that you buy from there onwards is also pretty strong. Overall, I'd say that he is a very decent pick right now, especially with all the auto attack reliant champions with Rage Blade going around. Um, so he's definitely one of the, the best uh, tanks for this meta. So for uh, core items in Malphite, I would say Gauntlet, obviously, maybe an Abyssal, Sunfire Cape, um, Deadman's Blade is good, just overall tank items. Uh, you can get Vanshee's Bell, Spirit Visage, all that stuff, so depending on what they have, uh, you just get really beefy and you'll be doing uh, a lot of base damages already from just your kit and just the Ice Brock from the Gauntlet, which now scales with bonus armor. So that's one of the main reasons as well, he got buffed. Um, his team fight, he got um, a bit of a uh, bonus with the AOE from Gauntlet scaling with armor. He's definitely the champion with the most armor in the game. So he has pretty high, a pretty um, wide AOE uh, auto attacks, slows with that. The thing I changed about Gangplank is just the uh, itemization. The crit itemization is a little bit better now. So you can get um, higher amounts of crits uh, chance uh, with a lot of the items. So he's just a stronger carry for late game because the synergy with all the AD items got buffed. So you have better options to go with later on. So it's really what makes him strong. He didn't get nerfed at all. And he's just still a Gangplank. He's a pretty strong carry champion. So he is definitely one of my, my uh, top picks right now. And is also almost from event. So definitely one of the strongest champions still. So the item build changed a little bit. Um, before you used to, I used to get Ghost Blade on him because the uh, the pretty cheap price to it and armor penetration as well as crit chance. But now that they remove the crit chance on it and they added the, the up the cost by quite a bit, uh, I don't think that's a viable option anymore. Um, so I would say just Triforce is still your first item. After Triforce, you would get an Essence Reaver since you will get up to 30% CDR just with the crit chance from your Triforce. So that's another really strong item to add it. Um, just being able to get 30% crit chance just based just with one item is really a strong thing to have. And you will have 40% CDR just with the Triforce and Essence Reaver. And after that, you can go for the rest of your build, which should be a, out my opinion, Scimitar is the best third item you can get. Um, and then after that, you can get uh, an IE, uh, more crit chance, or even a GA, just defensive items, and you'll be pretty tanky and have a lot of CDR and damage. So the early changes basically just consist of the Rage Blade buff. She is um, one of the best champions to get Rage Blade on as she's a lane bully that can farm really well early on and push her turrets down as well. She is a really strong split pusher with a strong attack speed steroid and she is pretty decent AD and AP scaling on her kit added already. So um, I say that's what makes her strongest right now and she is Definitely one of the strongest picks that benefited from that against Zeus buff. So for item build on Italy, right now the best way to go is just uh, two or three Doran's Blades and get your Rage Blade as soon as possible. So if you go back to base with uh, enough for a component, you should do that. Um, but yeah, overall after that, you can go for uh, just a Gauntlet as well, which used to be a pretty decent buy option on Italy. But now since the buff, it's even better on her. So um, I would say the um, offensive options for her got buffed, as well as the defensive options. So overall, she's a pretty strong bruiser that takes down turrets really fast right now. So for item build on Jax, um, obviously the very strong Rage Blade is the way to go right now. Triforce is not an option on him anymore. Um, you really only need the, the Rage Blade to be efficient on him. Afterwards, you can just go for... I've seen people go for Gunblade. Um, I am not too fond of the item myself. I think just going for other options as in um, just maybe like a board if you're playing uh, against a really tanky champion or just straight out just tank uh, items after you get your Ginsus. Since Ginsus is really the only offensive item you need amongst champions, um, you can get one or two defensive items on Jax and then after that look into buying more offensive items. 
You can also go for a gauntlet on Jax, a frosting gauntlet, which is also a really strong item in this match. And synergizes with him fairly well, as since he gets uh, bonus armor from his ulti. So um, overall, just getting that early rich blade, maybe getting a Triforce later on into the game, but obviously not anymore. It's not required to rush it anymore. Kale is, in my opinion, um, the best champion. Uh, the, the best champion that benefited the most out of all the changes they made to um, AP items. They actually buffed Nasher's Tooth and they buffed. Uh, Lich Bane, as well as obviously the very strong Rage Blade. So all three items are items that you should be getting on on Kale. So she definitely got a, a massive buff um, with just her having all her item path be buffed as well. So right now the strongest item build on Kale is obviously rushing that Rage Blade because it's really strong. And after that you just get your Nashor's Tooth. Um, you can get Mercury Threads for boots or you can get CDR boots depending on your setup. If you have CDR from your runes, you don't need the uh, obviously the CDR boots, but otherwise you just get your uh, Merc Treads, maybe Swiftness if they have a lot of slows and stuff like that. And after that, you'll be getting just Lich Bane. And in my opinion, the best way to go from that is just getting defensive items. So if you go for like a GA or Benches build, you'll be pretty tanky, pretty sturdy champion, just dishing out a lot of damage. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos at lawclass.com. through the ulti so it's a pretty good summoning tool as also the most important thing obviously is your barrels in fights you want to just keep an eye on their carries